Well, it's the festive season and many people buy new electronic products as gifts. But what do you do with your old gadgets when they've reached the end of their life cycle? Well, an e-waste expert warns that if these products aren't properly disposed of, it could be harmful to the environment. As many people upgrade their electronic equipment with the latest gadgets on the market, old ones are often tossed out with the rubbish. But e-waste is the term used to describe discarded electronic equipment and it can be recycled. And a waste expert has suggestions for dealing with old gadgets rather than simply dumping them. If we choose to have the latest, then the previously loved gadget should actually be given to someone else who can use it. There's the Salvation Army, there's various charities that can find these devices to be for use and you find that they are less than a year old. South Africa currently recycles about a tenth of the 360,000 tons of e-waste generated every year. Simply put, we are drowning in our own waste and this could have disastrous consequences for the environment. Government has tweaked the legislation, making it illegal for anyone to simply dump their old e-waste in the garbage can. And companies like Desco and Kempton Park now specialize in disposing of the equipment in a safe and sustainable way. There are elements that are used to manufacture it, like lead, mercury, beryllium, cadmium, nickel. Those are heavy metals and those are very hazardous to human health. And if this stuff ends up lying on a landfill site, these metals could leach into the groundwater system and you could end up drinking that water and becoming very ill. Once at the plant, the gadget is dismantled and stripped. Parts are then shipped overseas where they are used and resold as new products, giving the old gadget a new lease of life, while saving the planet for future generations. Pagamile Shubi, Kempton Park.